fair bit of action going on towards the back as well. That's him down to 18th. And then Beaker and Tontag both having really not quite good sights. Something happens to Beaker at the start to make him go in the wall. Uh, and there he is now down into last place. Uh, Jasper's lost one, and Will Gibson has gained those two positions from those soft tyres, so it has paid off for the driver. Yeah, as Marcus has now got past the Yenab, I believe that's why happened. It's also uh, the McLaren of Circle had a spin out of the last corner. Win. As we are now on the lap. Massive two. McLaren got off in the background. That's Jasper. Uh, Jasper. Yeah, is there any damage or... Yes, there is. He's lost his left end plate, so that's either from contact or going into a wall. Done for next game, but here we go. Drake on Carter. We've got a lovely helicam view, which has now switched back to a normal game view for turn one. Round the outside. Drake it done. Carter holding the inside. That's obviously the best line to have. We're down to turn one, but that does now compromise you here for the hairpin. Yeah, not quite sure what's happening to Tom, Tom Jack, but unfortunately he's had to tie. Carter's been on the curb. Ooh. Yeah. What happened there? Yeah. Uh, well, in terms of the uh, mistake in that DRS of the top four. As here we go, down into turn one. It's been very easy for Danico Carter. It's just a sitting duck without DRS. That's him down down into eighth place. Yeah, Brady got it. But I need to pick up the pieces. The big crash oh. behind us, Will. So, and that is a safety car now. So, I expect uh, with the soft one. Now, wait until the camera's on. As everybody <laughs> is boxing. Yeah, and interestingly, some are going to hard, some are going to medium. So Lucas up and there we go, safety car in this lap now from race control. Uh, Brownlee will be leading the way on the old softs. Uh, again, those softs are now over 30% on this front left. So it's going to be struggling a bit. It's actually all Mark Levine and Jake oh, Finch. It's going to be the likes of what well, Mark Levine has had to be looking out for Cody, Luke Smith, Mateo. Green flag conditions, and, and Brownie got a good launch there, so there's a bit of attack. Somebody's boxing, actually, and that, that's the box to get Mark. rid of that penalty. And uh, Mateo's got a penalty in bound now in the middle sector. So, uh, but anyway, it's Jeffrey now going down the inside of Mateo at turn one. Is that going to be moved done? Or is Mateo going to fight Luke Smith on those hard tyres, the Red Bull on the mediums? So, if Cody oh, can get... Oh, spin. I mean, Carter. Carter's gone around. Oh, somebody said to go off in the background there to avoid him. But Carter's a... playing Sandcastles right now, where he should be... Is he beat? Brownie, six cents in front of the Monty, oh. so he's actually been pulling ahead a bit. There's a massive battle. I think somebody was still diving into the pits there. Mateo was diving into the pits, and there's a battle behind there. Jesper Frin and the Williams driver, Danny Co, who's making Danny his way around there of Jesper. Oh, action all over the place at the moment. I believe that also Jesper has. So four drivers and two pits. That's now left Yonti in the lead as the last remaining driver to have not done a pit stop. All of his medium, medium compatriots have hey now... Hey guys, get my demo, it's 60 kilometers an hour. Yeah, that is Marcus and Jake into the pits. Uh, as I believe Jake was at least one, if not the only one, to get a penalty for speeding in the pit lane. Richie. And let's get ready to rumble again in the beach, coastal town of Zandvoort, as they go green flag racing. Yep, hand me down into turn one. Tazanbok. This is a five a Cigarette advertising. Now, well, Renault, <laughs> turn eight. This is going to be tight as you go through Vodafone now. Advertising all over the place, and it looks like the Ferrari drives dropped a couple oh, of places. Oh, Ferrari's off. Ferrari's way off. Yep. That. Okay. So, the, the, no, yeah, can you go? Oh, they're they going to follow him. Luke Smith's following him. That now, is interesting. Cody stayed out. So, this is getting spicy. We, we are predicting a few safety cars, I'd expect, at the moment. So that, that's a mistake uh, from the team. No, I think what that is, is he's getting those softs out of the way oh. so he can go back onto mediums, and now he doesn't have to make a pit stop. So he's just got those out of the way. He's done the mandatory tires. Now he can just go mediums to the end. Oh, yeah, it's uh, seven, five seconds. on Danny Coe about half a second already as they come down to turn one. Jake being overtaken by Mateo, maybe into turn one. No, he's been able to keep around the outside as well. Mateo nearly round, been able to catch the rear end. As up ahead, that's Yenup and Brownie fighting. So, Gionti, Richie, Richie on be Beacon now. This is a battle just for basically P9, but early days still in this race. But not, yes, it's early days. So, Fritzen's pulled it in for a pit stop of time. Uh, it doesn't look like it, no. So, as oh, that might be damaged now, maybe. No, not quite, but that is pretty much race tarnish now for Jake. Yeah, we'll look, go for it. He wants to, he's looking for the space, but it's not quite there, not with the momentum he needs. 
as yes when Drake fighting behind for six. So that's you can never see that in the game. Uh, so they now go side by side up through the hill. Jake gets another penalty. I assume that's going to be a pit stop retirement for the Alpha Tauri. Yep, there it is. And that's the reason why Luke Smith is obviously one of the best drivers on the planet because somehow still finds a way to avoid that situation. And Yonti and Bika still side by side behind them in P9 and P10. P10. Yes, say yep. ah. So yeah, that's the reason why Luke had to box a little bit earlier. Now he can put probably some softs on and go for it. He will. Yep. Well, he knows exactly where to park that car, but at the moment he's under pressure. Oh, oh. Uh, they're both. Well, he's out. They're both around. That's a big, that's a huge crash. That's massive. Oh, that's, that's caused Jesper damage. Special. That's going to be 2%. So he's really going to struggle to hold these guys back, even with the little amount of space they have to battle. Well, at the moment, we're ready for yet another. And Luke's got a five second penalty for collision. We get underway. No, that's good. I imagine they'll get removed because you probably won't. They'll get again. removed because you probably won't pit again. Uh, but we will obviously still keep it in mind as Luke goes up into sixth place. Uh, it's Cody and Mateo fighting oh, in front of him. It's a collision. Oh yeah, yeah, I, there was like, allowing enough room right now. Beaker's packing, backing everybody up. Luke Smith, Mateo, Danny, Yana. So this is going absolutely crazy. Uh, Luke, Luke's in the wall. Luke's out. He, he just went into the wall on the last go. It's another. Because he's got a bit of a buffer there. He's got Yonti and Bika, and then you've got the fast tires. Drivers behind him, but I will have enough time. Oh, Mateo's got it already. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's an illegal overtake or not. That did. Oh, there's very nearly a spin. But the soft there. tires are so much quicker now with how much time has passed. Uh, it's Danico and Mateo going side by side. This is the fight for the last podium spot. It's again. Yonti will most likely get that penalty removed and it was an unfair uh, one. Yenab does have the better times by four laps. I'm not sure how much of a difference that's going to make. So they're still side by side going into the outer S. See, so, yep, yep, come out of it. Thank you. Down into turn one. Down the inside. The Red Bull up into sixth place now. Of course, went off into the barrier earlier on, which put him down into last. Now in the mid pack, Beaker retires in the pits. Yeah, one minutes and on time. No DRS is enabled. And then you got to cut, get, catch Richie, and Richie managed to get out of that DRS range as well. So I think this is Richie's race to win, but can Danny get that P2? Or can even Browning still that one away? Cody's looking like he's going to well, take it to Mateo. Yep, we'll especially go. with these, the, this aero package, you just can't do anything. This is exactly the kind of racing that next is trying to, this previous, you have down the inside of Cody, bit loose on the rear on the exit. Because this is it, Danny Coe's opportunity here. Side by side into Tarzan. Has he got the job done? I think he has. He has got the yep. job done. Yes. Meanwhile, at back the the fight we were watching with him. So I don't think there will be any more moves. Jeffrey going through the last corner on those 17 lap on mediums. His teammates out of the race. He doesn't care. He wins the Dutch Grand Prix. Danny Coe will come through in second. Yonsi third. Jeffrey Ritchie. Ace Ritchie back on top of the stop step and on top of the Orange Army in, at home. Congratulations. You are the Dutch Grand Prix winner. Yep, that's now.